We have just uncovered alarming failures surrounding the drowning of a six year old at a summer camp. TJ Mister drowned July 20th at St. Louis County's Kennedy Recreation Complex. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes is here now with what he found out. Chris. Surely, Mandy, those failures are exposed in an investigative audit by the lifeguard company called StarGuard. St. Louis County has repeatedly said it cannot talk about this case because of a $40 million lawsuit it's facing. So we've been looking for answers by requesting documents like this through Missouri's Sunshine Law. Just all the questions that a normal parent would ask. Olga and Trevon Mister, six-year-old TJ's parents. We received the worst phone call in our life. TJ drowned in this Olympic-sized pool in South St. Louis County. It happened during a summer program TJ loved called Camp Kennedy. The smiles, you know, I'm always going to remember of TJ. Yeah, just a lovely kid. He was a really joyful kid. Our investigation has learned a month before the drowning, the Kennedy Recreation Center had closed the pool over safety concerns. In this June 3rd St. Louis County Health Report we obtained, an inspector wrote, it was decided just before I arrived to shut this pool down due to lack of lifeguards. It will be drained Friday 6-3-22 per the facility manager. The same manager who refused to answer basic questions in our previous Fox Files investigation in August. And you can't tell me who certifies the lifeguards? Nothing? I am not allowed to comment on anything. What if a parent asked you right now? I can only refer you to my supervisor for those questions. Though the county won't say why it reopened the pool, we learned of critical failures based on this lifeguard audit we obtained through Missouri Sunshine Law. The audit conducted by the county's lifeguard certification company, StarGuard Elite, says two lifeguards were scheduled to work the day TJ drowned. Shortly before letting the kids onto the pool deck, one of the lifeguards called to let the facility know they would not be coming into work. A decision was made to open the pool without the additional lifeguard, even though the center's emergency action plan states facility must have two lifeguards to open. The report also documents the center was missing parts to its life-saving device like this called an AED, a device so valuable that you should be able to find one in every public building. The audit says Kennedy Rex AED did not have child AED pads available. Staff left the airway position to look through the AED case for child pads. Staff decided not to use it. The audit adds AEDs can and should still be used on a child, even when the adult pads are the only pads available. TJ's parents determined to keep seeking answers, no matter how difficult. We're going to make a difference. You know, my son didn't die for nothing. TJ's family says their lawsuit is about preventing the next tragedy. They're on a mission to regulate summer camps, which are currently exempt from licensing by Missouri. That means there will be no regulatory accountability for the failures we've uncovered. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.